I don't necessarily feel it's their fault if they're homeless. Um, you can get out here and get a job in like um, McDonald's or Burger King, but at the same time, like I have a job to where I'm almost paycheck to paycheck. So let's say that I got fired. Um, my one last yeah, paycheck that I have, maybe all I have for me and my 12 year old daughter to survive. I'll buy you something to eat. I don't have a problem with buying anybody something to eat. But when you're asking me for money and I, you know, you say, oh, can I get some money? I'm hungry. Okay, well, I'll get you something to eat. And they're like, well, uh, can you just give me the money? No. Uh-uh. No, because you want some beer or some cigarettes? I'm not supporting your habit because you're homeless and you can't afford it anymore. I think that, you know, giving to organizations like, um, the Salvation Army and Goodwill, things like that, you know, would definitely impact a person going through something like that a little bit more than me just giving them a dollar. I'd like to say one more thing. Sure. A lot of self, I mean, um, non-profit organizations, I have a huge beef with y'all because you're exploiting the people and you're doing this to keep them down so you can get paid. A lot of them are. It is, it is better off being on the street than it is in a homeless shelter. You have just as many mentally ill people, bipolar, depressive people. You know, you you got people that's walking the street talking to themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, like like everybody that's homeless is not hey, drugish. Hey. They're not doing 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 drugs. I bet half of the people that you see homeless, they got a different story than drugs. Well, something happened. For the majority of the homeless people out here, Georgia has shut down a bunch of the um, the psychiatric places and just put them out all out here on the street. So for the majority, the majority of, of the ones out here, they have mental illness problems. And then on, on top of that, Depression of it, it puts them into doing drugs and, and stuff like that. So you, you have mental patients out here with drug problems. The help, as far as that's concerned, that's a mountain. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, shoot. Georgia! Georgia! It's been really too much. Too many places a man can go and eat every day. Then he can go to the shelter every day. And then they get clothes donated. So what we'll make a man greater than an animal is we make choices. The three main choices we make is food, shelter, and, and clothing. You take that decision from a man, he's less than an animal. So if he screw up his money today, he just go to the shelter and sleep and eat. Then so tomorrow he does it again. So it's a neighbor. Yeah, it's an able oh man, worse than an able. Because the drugs is right there. The alcohol man is inside the place, showing dollar shots. Uh, every vice a man wants is there. Without the necessity to make a decision. As far as Atlanta is concerned, homelessness this is kind of illegal because if they if they want to they can put us in jail for this now for the panhandle yeah and well no just being where you're at right now just being yeah yeah just being out here they can come up with trespassing at any time and you just go to jail you sit there for a couple days and then they put you pack out in the same situ so it's it's a revolving door it's a very distinct difference between somebody who is really homeless, who cannot, you know, like it was this one man, you know, he's in a wheelchair, you know, he like, you know, I can't work, you know what I'm saying, I, you know, he tried to get disability, but he's waiting on it, you know, he's just hungry. Cool, bro, I got you, you know what I'm saying, I'll, I'll get you something to eat, but like this, 
no. Uh, you uh, took an oath to uphold your brother man. That's why people in the street, some of them so hard upon each other. Are you homeless? Yes, I am. How did you become homeless? Oh, you helped me. 1996. You've been homeless since 1996? Yes, hold it. I've been in a mental. Mental. In Georgia reading for mental. My, the stove blowed up and killed my wife. She was pregnant with two twins and my one and a half year old daughter. I tried to kill myself. And still tried again. But an old lady seen me one time when I was finna do it with a knife. Say, God gift to you was your is life. Your gift is to live it to the foot. You know, you have several several homeless people who come up and they tell you all kinds of stories and they tell so, you they tell you all they tell you all also. kinds of stuff. You see that rain, it's raining on that rain. Uh-huh. That's that large word is born. Okay. Now you did you get catch mm -hmm. that? Thank you.